Where are you from, if you don't mind asking? Ukraine. 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 So a lot of people have never met a Ukraine person in their life. Yeah? A lot of people don't know, they've never been to the UK, maybe even. Do you know what I mean? So as a Ukraine person, how long have you been in the UK for? Two years. What do you think of the UK? Hmm? What do you think of the UK? You like it? Yeah? Alright. So, in Ukraine, like, are people religious? Yes. Most of people are religious and most of people is Christian. Christian. Yeah. I'm assuming your family is all Christian? Yes. Practicing Christian or cultural Christian? No, no, like cultural Pardon? So, what do you say? Um, are they practicing Christianity? Did they believe or they like very cultural? Like, because their parents are Christian, they're Christian. Or do they believe what they believe? Uh, like your parents, did they go to the church a lot? No. Okay, did they read the Bible a lot? No. Okay. Because the thing is, I've got family from Croatia. Yeah. And they're very, they're very passionate about their belief. Yeah. And they'll say, we're Christian. When you go to the house, you see a cross, like, you know, on the mountain, not a mountain, the hill, the top of the hill, you've got a church. And it's very beautiful because you've got the church looking over the entire village. Yeah. <clears throat> Every time they go to a new house, they'll get the house blessed by a priest. Yeah. But then when you ask them questions, they don't read the Bible. When you ask them like about Abraham, a lot of Christians don't even know who Abraham is and it's like, but then they'll be like, no, we're, we're very passionate about what we believe. But I'm like, but you don't even know what you believe. Really, because I was very surprised. Because I'm like, because I went there and I thought, let me call people to Islam. But they're like, no, I'm confident in what I believe. I believe passionately. And I go, tell me what you believe. And they fail to tell me what they believe. So similarly, I think even in Croatia, I think a lot of Europe is becoming cultural, they're distancing themselves from religion. How do you feel about that? Agree, disagree? We agree. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I would like to give you a free translation of the Quran. The Muslim Biblica, Muslim um, Quran. The religious scripture. I don't need it because I, my English is so bad I, I can't read it. And unfortunately, I don't even have a Croatian, um, Ukrainian um, Quran. Do you, can I just very quickly tell you the basics of Islam? No, I need to go. Do you need to go? Yeah, no, I can tell, I can tell. No problem. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time, madam. You take care of yourself. Thank you. Alhamdulillah, I spoke to a Ukrainian lady. Um, yeah, she has to go and visit somebody. I think there's a lot of cultural Christianity taking place but at the moment she is somebody who even when I asked her like what does it mean to be a Christian like she was very she got stuck on the question when I asked her um, is Jesus Christ God or sent by God again she got stuck on the question and I think we need to as Muslims and non-Muslims Muslims and Christians, we need to be confident in our faith, and especially Muslims who are watching this. Like, how can we? We need to think about how can we portray the message. What do we know about Islam? And study the Deen, connect with the Quran. Um, this lady, <coughs> there's a slight language barrier, but again, comes back down to challenging what the society is telling us. Because at the moment, we're living in a society where it's just telling us, look, you live once, uh, YOLO, just go with the flow. I'm like, no, there's more to life. Where, why are we here? Who created us? This didn't happen by, enough, by chance. There's too much design for there not to be a designer. From nothing comes nothing. So we need to connect with, wait, okay, if there's Muslims who are claiming this is a perfect scripture, the Quran, why don't we make a bit of time to read it? Because we've got time for Netflix, but we don't have time to read the Quran. So I always suggest that, look, read the translation of the Quran, read it in a language you understand, connect with the Creator, yeah, and then that's it. So I would say that, look, we're all gonna die. There are people who may 
not be aware of what religion is true, if there is a creator or not. But what we all agree with is we're going to die. Now, if we're all going to die, what, what have we done for this to prepare for death? And even when the Prophet ﷺ was approached by a companion who said, when is judgment day? The Prophet ﷺ said, what have you prepared for it? And as Muslims, what have we prepared for it? As Christians, as atheists, because I always say this, there is no atheist on a sinking ship. So why is it when we find ourselves in a calamity, we're going to turn to the Creator? And even the Quran says, look, when the calamity befalls them, they turn to Allah. And then once Allah has taken them out of the difficulty, they go back to their disbelief. So now we're in a situation where, alhamdulillah, life is comfortable. We're living in the West. She probably came from a war-torn country. We have people in Syria, in Palestine, in Gaza, who've got bombs dropping on them, who are left without food, who've had water switched off. Yet you see videos coming out from there where they're connecting with Allah. So may Allah bless them and grant them his diet. And I pray that <coughs> I pray that Allah grants her hidayah, grants her Islam. Yeah. And yeah, so I'm just seeing all these people around us and they're living their life. They're in this rat race. They're in this rat race. <laughs> but then I'm laughing, forgive me. Um, brothers behind the camera but on a serious note look we've got our brothers and sisters in palestine who like it makes me it makes me want to cry when i think to myself the reality of what's taking place and the prophet Sassam said there's iman the ummah is like one body so when one body when one part is in pain the entire body is in pain and we're seeing what's happening in palestine and it's like we shouldn't be able to sleep these are our, our brothers our sisters our children when you're dropping bombs in Palestine and you're bombing hospitals, then anyone with good conscience, anyone with any kind of self-awareness, how would they be allowing this to take place? So I suggest that we educate ourselves on the plight of the Ummah, we educate ourselves on the, on the Quran and Sunnah, come back to monotheism, come back to Tawheed, come back to worshipping Allah, and leave all this kind of time-wasting. So may Allah grant her Islam, grant us all hidayat and grant us all put us keep us on the surat al I pray that Allah blesses you all. Salaamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah.